We're here with Juan Lopez from Gurkha Cigars, and they have some pretty cool new stuff. How's it going? Doing great, bro. How you doing? Pretty good. No complaints. All right, man. So, How are you enjoying the show? The show is fantastic. It, it feels like there's a, a bigger electricity than before. It's like we're back to, back to the, you know, the big show. I'm loving it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, this is my 26th show. Wow. So, uh, so my, I saw my voice. I'm glad you guys came today because tomorrow I wouldn't have a voice. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm, I enjoy it, man. It's, you know, I get to see a lot of old friends. You know, we're, although we're a you know, decent-sized industry, we're all family, you know. Exactly. Uh, nobody's really a competitor here. You know, it's we're the all smallest, friends. biggest industry. It truly is, truly is. So tell us a little bit about the Pure Evil. Yeah, absolutely. So Pure Evil is going to be one of our new releases. Uh, it's going to be ready, ready for uh, delivery late September. Um, it's a uh, pure Nicaraguan. It's got the uh, Ecuador, Ecuadorian Habano, all Nicaragua binder filler, uh, medium to full body, a lot of spice, a lot of earthiness to it, a little bit of that, that black pepper, which I love, but real, real smooth, really good cigar. Uh, retail from 7 to $10, uh, depending on where you live, obviously, the taxes. Pretty good price. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's for everybody to smoke. Um, and uh, delivery on this, this is uh, late September, beginning of October. Excellent. So you could look look for this around that time. Yes. And this seems a little bit more special. Yes. This actually, this cigar here, it's a, it's a Colección Especial. It's a limited run of uh, 50,000 cigars for this year. We're only going to uh, put it in 150 stores uh, nationwide. Uh, then next year for the second shipment of it, we're going to keep it at 150. And then maybe by next year's show, we'll up it to another 50 accounts to make it 200 accounts. So pretty much what it is is, you know, we... We're offering this special gift of a cigar to our, what we call our retail partners. You know, we have a lot of retail stores that we deal with, but we have, you know, the 80-20 rule. These guys are our partners. These are the guys that we invite to, you know, enjoy this uh, celebration of a great smoke. Um, it's a hybrid, hybrid Connecticut seed wrapper, uh, Dominican Nicaraguan filler, mild to medium, real, real creamy, real smooth, and super clean, which I love. It, it reminds me a lot of a, like a lot of Davidoff kind of flavor to it, which I like. I like to smoke a Davidoff every now and then. Uh, retail on this, we got two, three sizes. We got Robusto, Longstale, and Toro. Uh, $12.95, $13.95, and $14.95. So again, for a very limited release, uh, it's very well priced. Uh, it's done as a 10 count box as well. All right, so if your store carries a lot of Gurkha product, you're probably gonna see this in there. True. And then we have one more question for you. Uh, back in January, we, we, were, we were flying high. The industry was flying high. We were seeing more cigar smokers than ever before. How do you see the industry today? Um, well, I, well, what I see, uh, the difference is, listen, when, when we were all in that whole COVID thing, right, uh, you got guys who are, you know, working from home now, and uh, they're smoking instead of two, three cigars, they're smoking six, seven cigars a day. You got the young guys, you know, coming into the industry now, the 25, 26-year-old guys that are finally getting the, you know, the joy of the leaf. Uh, so I've seen a lot of young people in my travels, and, and now in the last, uh, like, six months, uh, the other thing that I see a lot of is a lot of new companies, a lot of uh, entrepreneurship within the industry, which is which is healthy for the industry. Um, but but again, it's I always tell people it's, it's a fierce fierce industry because you got a lot of old guards here. You know, you got the Fuentes, you got guys like us, uh, and then you got some of the newer guys like you know Ricky Rodriguez, you know Mikey Herlots and guys like that. You know, we wish them well because they're they are part of the family. But I think that's where we're at as far as sales in general. It, it, it had to flatten out just because, um, I mean, listen, at the pace that we we're going, we actually imported last year more cigars than we imported at the peak of the boom in 1995. A lot wow. of people don't know that. So I think it was 464 million premium cigars were imported into the United States last year. So that, listen, that. Like, I, that like as an, an industry as a whole or just Gurkha? I, no, no, no. We're not that big. We're not that big. <laughs> you guys big. make a lot of cigars. We do. We do. We're, 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 we do all right. We do all right. But no, it's, as an industry as a whole. And again, premium. I'm not talking about you know machine-made stuff. Right. Actual handmade stuff that you're seeing here. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Pleasure, man. Thanks and for thank you for the cigars. You got it. Enjoy.